that lie that we have been taught, it is a lie. In order to be able to function in this world, we must numb our needs. We must stun them and let them know they're not going to be met. So they don't go away, but we just become numb. So the path that has been paved and offered to you here is honor your needs, soften, meet yourself with deep, deep love. Hello, lovely. I am Ellie Pascal, embodiment coach, currently taking a journey to energetic power points and sacred sites on our planet in order to discover what they're teaching us about healing. Healing in relation to energy, aliveness, exhaustion and chronic fatigue. <laughs> and you currently find me... <laughs> currently find me right at the edge of the Wallwright Stones in Oxfordshire. I drive here and make my way to the stones and there's people and my sit bones and my psoas muscle I'm like nervous system is going oh there's really really a lot of people noticing if the part of me that's really sensitive rising up and so I go in and I'm walking the stones and then I go and I I put my back against some of the stones and again I'm feeling this like honestly like this and as I say that I'm noticing that I want to fling my arms out and break things and this is I know part of what I'm here to do at this time when so many of us are waking up and so many of us are waking up to our bodies and that means that we're coming to the reality of what it means to be human and we've lived in this patriarchal world for thousands of years in which we've been told what you feel in your body is secondary and all of the multiple levels of what it is to be human being and the senses above our five senses have been poo-pooed. We've been told that these things that we feel are not even real. So in order to survive in this world, we had to numb out of our bodies and pretend that we couldn't experience our chakras or our meridians or our energy bodies until eventually, actually, we couldn't. As I was sitting there feeling like, will all of these people just go away because I cannot feel my own truth. I cannot come into my center. So I'm sitting there and I'm feeling irritated. I need to do something to be able to get back in my center. And sometimes I can very easily do that now simply by grounding and paying attention to what's happening on the inside of my body. And sometimes I need to take myself away. But very quickly I notice those thoughts coming in. There's something wrong with me. I'm far too sensitive. And then I took a breath. And I felt the presence of this beautiful megalith behind me. And I could hear the guidance coming through that was saying, you as a sensitive are so needed at this time. Stop trying to numb out from what you feel and what you need. Go and take deep, kind care of yourself. And so I did. You know, when my body first fully awakened, for many hours a day, I would feel like a fetus. I was in the full throes of a really visceral kundalini awakening. Don't worry, that's not necessarily going to be your truth. But it meant that this need to sometimes take space for me was really a lot. I needed to take a lot of space. And I was present with that lie of, if I give my body this that she is asking for now, I am going to become so sensitive that I will never be able to function in the world. And of course, that lie did not get proven to be true. What happened was, as I met the needs of my precious body, she healed. She realigned. She became more and more able to be the sensitive being that Ellie is, that I am. And for me to still go about my day and for my energy body to reform in a profound way so that 
I was able to be, I am able to be the sensitive being and increasingly go out into the world and have my energetic boundary and be able to be in my own body and not feel everybody's feelings. That lie that we have been taught, it is a lie. In order to be able to function in this world, we must numb our needs. We must stun them and let them know they're not going to be met. So they don't go away, but we just become numb. So the path that has been paved and offered to you here is honor your needs, soften, meet yourself with deep, deep love. And the more you do that, the more your needs will evolve. But you must be gentle and kind and honoring of your sensitivities while they are here. Otherwise, the only options are hypersensitivity and numbness. And for me, that was hypersensitivity and, and numbness and despair. Like I was numb, but I was stuck in, but there was deep despair with that numbness. So let's take a breath with that. You know, the, the overall message here is you get to have it all. You get to be sensitive and also to be able to move around in this world and find ways to stay in your own center and, center and not take on everybody's stuff, right? So number one, honor your sensitivity and your needs. Honor your sensitivity and your needs. Number two, take space if you need it. And number three, be deeply kind to you. And I would love to know how this has landed for you. Please write what has come up for you in the chat, in the comment section beneath this video. Are you jiggling with uh, joyousness at being offered this permission to be kinder and meet your needs more? What's here? And if you are watching this on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and also to like this, click the thumbs up. And if you would like to join me live and be supportive to take deep loving care of yourself, you are most warmly invited to come along to my Self Love Sunday session. These happen once a month. We come together in deeply safe, warm community on Zoom. And I offer tools for you to deepen into self-love. And you can take your place for free by going to elliepascal.com slash self-love and signing up there. I am wishing you a beautiful onward journey. And I will see you on here again soon when I journey to my next sacred site.